At this point, we can all agree that AI is here to stay. In this video, I'm going to show you three amazing advanced features inside Adobe Premiere Pro that use AI technology to speed up your editing. If you don't want to be left behind, if you want to make sure that you can keep your job and you can become an even better creator, it's going to be valuable for you to learn how to use these features. So my name is Vince and let's jump straight into the tutorial. So the first AI feature of Premiere Pro that I want to show you is the remix function. Now, when I found out about this, I was genuinely mind blown. I know that, you know, a lot of times when we are adding either background music to our uh, videos, let's say it's, it's a YouTube video, or if you're creating like a short cinematic sequence or a commercial, and you know, you need, you need to have the song to be shorter or longer than what you have. Now, with this remix feature of Adobe Premiere Pro, you can actually do that within seconds and it works scary good, right? So I'm going to put this clip on my timeline right here. And as you can see, now it is a four minute long uh, song. So if I play it back, this is kind of how it sounds. Right, pretty cool song. Uh, but let's just say I only needed one minute of this instead of four minutes. So here's what you can do to remix it. You can select your audio and then you can come here to the ripple edit tool. You want to put long hold on it and then come here to the rem remix tool, right? Once you have that selected, you can come here to the end of your clip and drag it down just like if it was, you know, a regular uh, clip that you were going to trim down and then once you have done that, as you can see, it put all these little cuts into my song where you can see these lines. And now it just made it, you know, perfectly edited to one minute long. I think this is scary how good this works. Let's listen to the end of it so you can see what I mean. This is pretty damn impressive. You literally can't even tell that this is an edited song. And we just converted this song from four minutes long to one minute long and it sounds perfect. So if you are ever editing any videos where you need a different length of song, then uh, you know what you have, just use this remix feature to make your songs either longer or shorter and it's gonna sound amazing. Um, and yeah, it works just as well if you are trying to make it longer and you want to loop it or anything like that. So let's move on to amazing advanced AI feature number two. So the second feature that I wanted to talk about is the scene edit detection. Now, let me show you how this works because this is also pretty scary and very, very useful. So if you have your clip on your timeline, what you want to do is right click on it and then scroll down here to where it says scene edit detection. Now, if you click on it, it's going to uh, give you this pop up. And here, uh, you know, you can select whether you want to just apply a cut at the end of each detected cut point, create a bin of the sub clips, or create a clip marker. Um, now I'm going to click uh, all of these on and then I'm going to click on analyze. And while it's analyzing, let me explain basically what it does. So now it is going to select and uh, detect all the cut points in my clip where it thinks it should have a cut and then it's going to make those cuts as well. So basically it just does most of the editing for you, which is pretty scary and also it's scary how fast it does it like now I have this six minute long clip right and to go through this whole thing it would take me probably like 15 20 minutes and by the time I'm finishing this sentence boom it just finished it and as you can see it made the cuts and uh, let's watch it back and see what it uh, created like one color to this uh, this colder light um, so yeah I use this spring light um, uh, to right there i also as you can see it's cutting out the pauses that i have in the video and doing it perfectly and uh yeah it is truly amazing and you can use this on longer clips shorter clips and uh as you can see here it also created this folder with uh the separate you know edited sections that it created and also put markers on uh, my clip so uh here as you can see with these uh, little 
pink ones. So it is an amazing feature in Premiere Pro, very powerful. It can save you a ton of time. Uh, so try it out as well for yourself. And the last feature I want to show you is the tracking uh, feature inside Premiere Pro, more specifically the auto tracking. So let me show you how it works. I'm just going to give you an example. So let's say I have this clip on my timeline right here and I'm gonna cut it at like 30 seconds. And um, you can see, you know, it's just me talking to a camera. Now, let's say I wanted to add some sort of a mask on it. Like for example, this, let's add an opacity mask and uh, select the eclipse type of mask because that will fit my face pretty well. All right, now uh, that I have that, I can actually come here. Uh, I will make sure my mouse is at right in the beginning of the clip. And I'm going to click here on track selected mask forward. And now it is basically tracking my face frame by frame for this whole video. And um, I'm going to be able to use that mask and change whatever properties of the clip I want. So I could have also created a mask for, you know, Lumetri color and maybe edited uh, the coloring just on my face so the skin tones look right. Or I could have lifted the highlights just on my face so it looks perfect uh, in that area. You know, you will see how well this works as well. And uh, again, another like incredibly useful tool because to track your face like, like what it's just going to do now, uh, would take you hours to do probably so as you can see it just finished and let's watch back what we, what it just created All right in this video, I'm going to show you kind of like my setup uh, for shooting videos. It's pretty pr pretty basic um, I mean, I mean obviously it took me still years to set uh, up these things in terms of like getting all this equipment So as you can see it has created all these keyframes here like thousands of keyframes and basically it is tracking my face uh, flawlessly throughout this whole 30 second clip and it didn't take it more than one minute to do and uh, you know now if I wanted to I could I could go ahead and uh, select all the different uh, settings and change it up however I wanted to um, or I could just like censor myself this way if I inverted the mask uh, with this example so and again this uh, tracking feature for masks and uh, you know anything else basically in Premiere Pro is super powerful as well. So I hope this video was helpful for you and I hope you can see just how powerful AI technology is and Adobe's AI is already really good uh, so I highly recommend you to do some more research on it and also just try it out for yourself even inside of uh, other Adobe products like Photoshop and uh, Adobe After Effects they have some amazing features that use AI technology so yeah hope you enjoyed and uh, check out my channel for more tutorials and things like this and i will see you in the next one